What if your banking or investment app, the one you trust with your savings, was quietly nudging you into choices you'd never make on your own? Not through fraud, not even through lies. But through carefully placed colors, countdowns, one-click defaults and personalized nudges driven by AI. Today, we'll discuss a quiet crisis in fintech, subliminal manipulation by design. How AI-driven interfaces in financial services are quietly shaping your decisions, often without your full awareness. And how the law and AI governance professionals must rise to meet this challenge. I'm Anja Merchant. I've trained in artificial intelligence and AI ethics at the University of Cambridge. I advise tech companies on AI governance, explainability, privacy and data protection. And I founded Lawtificial Integrity to help companies and professionals apply law and integrity to artificial intelligence. Today's topic is unsettling, but necessary. How AI-powered design systems in financial services are influencing your decisions without your full awareness, and what the law and you can do about it. Welcome to the world of algorithmic persuasion in fintech. Let's start with the basics. Subliminal manipulation in fintech isn't about lying. It is, however, about engineering behavior. Subliminal manipulation occurs when systems shape your behavior without your conscious awareness. Not through open coercion, but through subtle cues. Placement, framing, color, urgency, or social proof. In fintech apps, dark nudging or negative choice architecture means Using clever design tricks to, uh, to push you toward decisions you might not make otherwise. For example, a buy now pay later button might be big and colorful, while the pay now option is small and hidden. Some apps pre-select high interest payment plans or make it harder to find the cancel button. Others show countdown timers like this offer ends in 10 minutes to rush you. AI tracks your habits, like when you're most likely to say yes and then shows nudges at just the right time to influence your choices. You see, behavioral manipulation through UI uses design signals, color, size, default settings, urgency prompts, social proof to guide you towards actions you may not have taken consciously. When AI is added to the mix, algorithms trained on your spending history, browsing patterns and spending habits, and you get a personalized, hyper-responsive system designed to predict when you'll be most vulnerable to influence. This is what's called dark nudging or negative choice architecture. And it's not rare. It's quietly becoming the norm. Let's talk through some examples of subliminal manipulation or negative choice architecture in fintech. Buy now pay later apps or platforms are a textbook case. In 2023, a UK Financial Conduct Authority review flagged several platforms for nudging users toward unnecessary purchases via default settings or persuasive user interface or UI. AI systems can track what time of day you're most impulsive. Are you tired after a hard day's work or the end of a long week? Have mentally checked out? What products you tend to linger on? And how likely you are to accept credit? Then they push subtle prompts. 90% of users choose this plan. Offer expires in 15 minutes. You're pre-approved for instant credit. You feel like you're in control, but the system has already profiled your decision vulnerabilities. Moving to our second example. 
A European neo bank was investigated for placing withdrawal buttons in smaller, grayer fonts, while invest and spend features were bold, colored, and animated. The AI behind the UX prioritized higher yield product engagement, subtly pushing users away from financial restraint and toward platform revenue. Do you think that's genuine choice? Or is it algorithmic influence masquerading as choice? Let's look at example 3. Even robo-advisors, AI systems that recommend investments, have been shown to steer clients toward riskier portfolios based on profitability models, not suitability. In one study, participants shown gamified investment dashboards with flashy charts and rewards were 37% more likely to choose high-risk options even when their stated preferences were conservative. This included users who had explicitly stated that they wanted low-volatility portfolios. The AI didn't override their choice. It simply reframed the risk to look like reward. What's your view on design nudges like these? Should humans take more ownership? Or should it fall to fintechs and financial institutions? Why is subliminal nudging or manipulation so effective? Because AI doesn't nudge in the dark. It knows what works on you. Fintech apps collect enormous amounts of data. Your scroll speed, your taps and hesitations. Your time of use, your response to previous offers. These feed into machine learning models that can predict with disturbing accuracy when you're most likely to say yes to suboptimal choices. Unlike traditional marketing, which guesses at mass behavior, AI nudging is individualized, adaptive and invisible. You don't see the nudge coming and you rarely notice it after. And when these systems are designed to increase profit, not protect users, they end up preying on the most vulnerable. This is not about demonizing AI. It's about demanding transparency and clear, understandable explanations from systems that have the power to influence human financial behavior at scale. So what does the law say? In the EU, both the Digital Services Act and the EU Artificial Intelligence Act now directly and indirectly tackle subliminal manipulation reflecting growing regulatory influence over deceptive digital practices. Article 5 of the EU AI Act specifically prohibits the deployment of AI that uses subliminal techniques, defined as those operating beyond a person's conscious awareness, or exploits vulnerabilities to distort decision-making and cause significant harm. Further, organizations must ensure AI literacy among staff to detect manipulative systems. The Digital Services Act 2023 prohibits manipulative or deceptive design requiring platforms to evaluate and mitigate systemic risks, including nudging or dark patterns, with oversight from digital services coordinators in each member state. The Consumer Protection Cooperation Regulation empowers national enforcers to clamp down on unfair commercial practices, including UI-based manipulation, across EU borders. In the UK, the FCA's consumer duty targets preventable harm through design flaws. The regulator has already taken numerous enforcement actions against firms whose interfaces mislead or push customers into harmful decisions. It also requires firms to demonstrate 
true consumer benefit, not just compliance theatre. In the US, regulation is catching up fast. The Federal Trade Commission or the FTC regularly identifies and penalizes dark patterns that trick users into unwanted purchases or consent, such as defunct negative option defaults. A wave of state privacy laws, including in California, Colorado, Connecticut, Minnesota and Virginia, now define dark patterns as prohibited manipulative interfaces allowing either state attorneys general or consumers to enforce compliance. But enforcement is slow and we know that tech moves faster than regulators. Let's move on to some good news. There's emerging technology that can help audit, detect and even prevent subliminal manipulation. UX forensic tools can analyze interfaces and flag dark patterns. Design choices statistically associated with behavioral manipulation. Explainable AI systems help firms understand how their recommendation engines are influencing decisions, exposing patterns where profit seeking outweighs consumer well being. Ethical AI and Responsible AI Toolkits offer frameworks for identifying risk areas and designing more transparent, respectful user journeys. But tech or law alone won't fix this. Organizations must choose to act. And that's where meaningful human-in-the-loop oversight comes in. Legal, compliance and UX teams need cross-functional AI fluency. They need professionals who can read a behavioral nudge, not just as a design feature, but as a potential regulatory liability. At Lawtificial Integrity, we can help you with explainability statements for AI deployments and AI governance. Reach out should you need assistance. So, in the face of subliminal nudging and manipulation, what can you do? If you're an app user, stay alert. If the app feels like it's rushing you or causing an emotional rush, pause. Ask, who does this choice serve? If you're an AI professional, a lawyer, auditor, product manager or designer, Recognize that AI manipulation is no longer theoretical. It's here, it's real, and in many cases, if it's not straight up illegal, it's only because the law hasn't caught up yet. But you can. That's the work we do at Lawtificial Integrity. We train the next generation of AI governance professionals to identify, question, and reshape the systems from the inside out. We can help you with AI explainability statements. Reach out if you'd like a consult. If this gave you something to think about, please like, share and leave a comment. And when you're ready to lead the change, not simply observe it, visit lawtificialintegrity.ai to learn how you can become a meaningful human in the loop in the age of AI, because artificial intelligence needs human integrity.